Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. And today's starting pitcher, Matthew Liberatore. Yeah, and his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So so taking the mound, this is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. That one fouled off, two and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound, he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. The pitch. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Next pitch misses. Two and one. One strike. One down, base is empty. Way inside, and that hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Spencer Steer, the next to hit for the Reds. To second, and he's out. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. And another ball. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Onto the bottom of the first, no score. Back here in St. Louis, and today's starter, Graham Ashcraft. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Close, but called a ball. Two balls and a strike. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. And a 2-1 on the way. Right through there for a strike. A swing and a miss. One out. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action.
And now the right fielder, Alec Burleson. The 1-1. One -one. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Up the middle. Oh, wow. nice play. Throws from his knees. Oh. Nicely done for the out. Great reaction there to get to the baseball, secure it, and then no time to get up and throw. Throws from one knee. That's a guy that's got a lot of confidence in his arm strength and accuracy. Two outs, base is empty. And next is the designated hitter, Wilson Contreras. And that's down and away. And the right hander deals. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Zips it across. St. Louis goes down in order. Redbirds down quietly. We played an inning. No score. Second inning set to go and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Tyler, Tyler Stevenson. Stevenson taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point that starts to go away and you've got to produce at the big league level. The pitch. And that one fouled off. One two now. Ball. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone. But usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. Yeah, there's a ball. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good. But outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. Gorman makes the grab one down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. So digging in, Nick Martini. One down, base is empty. And ball, another two. ball. Two balls, one strike. One out, base is empty. Three, and now two. the count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on deck circle. Do it again. The line to kick the pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. Two out, space is empty. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The wind of the pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains 2 and 2. Center field. Siani under it. He's there. He's got it. And that'll do it. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back 
back here in St. Louis. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. And the righty deals. Hot shot to third. Whips it across. That's one out the bottom of the second. Got it. The left fielder. Donovan. Here's the left fielder, Brendan Donovan. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Second inning here, no score. Pitch misses. The count now two and two. And here it comes. That one to first. He takes it on his He's own. Out. And that quickly, two away. That is good. The third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Here's Nolan Arenado. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove. And the throw to first is there to put an end to the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. End of two here at Bush Stadium. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at Bush Stadium. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Stuart Fairchild. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Oh, but one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Siani pulls it down. One away. Levon Soto, the next to hit for the Reds. Pitch. That Ball one outside, up. and it's two and one. Top of the third, no score. That's and a good eye there. there. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. And that's ball four. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And now it's gonna be Levi Jordan. Fought off foul. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs is, if yeah. he's going to get deeper into this game. Man at first, one away. Step off throw to first, oh, and he's back in there. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Jonathan India at the plate.
and a pitch. On the ground to third. Sneaks through. Base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Ellie De La Cruz, and a pitch. Late that time, and it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Two outs. Got him swinging on the curveball. Out number three. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Set for the bottom of the third. Now up for St. Louis. Nolan Gordon. At the belt and fires. Pitch misses there. Two and one. And a swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a little roller right side. He steps on the bag. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Pedro Pajas next up for the Cardinals. Righty delivers. Outside low. Two and one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Here comes a pitch. Hard hit right side. In plenty of time to first and two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Now batting Michael Ciani. And he deals. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. And down in order go the Cardinals. And we're still knotted at zero. On to the fourth. In now for the Reds, Spencer Steer. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpiring crew are going to pay attention to how the weather is impacting this game, and the moment it becomes dangerous, I think, is the moment we'll be forced to take a break. Now the and now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson. All tied up. Top half of inning number four. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Sonny Gray getting ready to go. Helsley, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. One down, base is empty. Got him swinging. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. So up next, Nick Martini. The pitch. Ball, down.
Fourth inning underway, no score. Foul ball. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Reds go down quietly, and we are still scoreless. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Mason Wynn. to the left side and it's through for a hit so a man on base to start the inning now the right field. and up next for St. Louis Alec Burleson left hand hitter waits Three. swings through it and that's a strikeout Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Right hander kicks deals. That one off the mark. And it's two and one. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. That one misses. Three and one. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And a pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Could be extra bases. Around third. He will score and they take the lead. One nothing. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. One out, runner at second. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. On the ground to third. Now a jump throw. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. The left fielder, number 33, Brendan Donovan. My goodness, Chris. He had to generate a ton of power in that jump throw for the out. Let's take another look and dive into the numbers from StatCast. Man, that's an impressive throw right there. In the air, all the way from third base. You've got to have a powerful arm to play third base, but he just showed he's got more than enough. He's got a cannon. Brendan Donovan, next up for the Cardinals. And a ball and two strikes. Swing, and he breaks his back. Sends it to first. They limit the damage here. Cards on the board with this double. It's now a one nothing ball game. You're dialed into the show. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Sonny Gray. Still a lot of game now, left, and this important. game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Here's the third baseman, Santiago Espinal. Right-handed reliever. Ball match outside. Still two and two after the foul ball. Mm -hmm. 
And that's in the dirt. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and a leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. And stepping in is the speedy Stuart Fairchild. And the pitch. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. And another ball. Oh, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boat. Levon Soto in the on-deck circle. To third, Arenado goes to second for one. How about that double play? As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. And now here is Levon Soto. Out to short. Win. Third out. Bottom of the inning and stepping in for the Cardinals, Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado at the plate. Arenado, guy who delivers big time power at the dish and will probably go down as one of the greatest defensive third basemen of all time. Off the outside edge and now the count is two and two. And down on strikes he goes. One gone here. Here's Nolan Gorman. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. One ball, two strikes. And the right hater deals. And speaking of that defense, it's hard to imagine that in high school, Arenado shared the left side of the infield with another elite defender, Matt Chapman, at El Toro High School in California. One down, base is empty. That misses the zone. Full count, three and two. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Hauls it in for the out. And there are two outs. Up next for the Cardinals. The catcher. Two outs. Base is empty. And now the Cardinals catcher. Pedro Pajes. Two down. Nobody on. Last half of inning number five. There's the swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. Strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. There's a swing and a drive. That one hops against the fence. And into second easily with a two-out double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great.
Now up for St. Louis, Michael Ciani. 1-1 one, one now. Right through there for a strike. Man on second, two down. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And another ball. We got a full count. In the dirt, but kept close. Nice job behind the plate there. Mason Wynn in the St. Louis on deck circle. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swings and misses, struck him out. The cards leave one, but they still lead it one nothing. Top of the sixth inning. Now the left fielder, Levi Jordan. Next offering is in for a strike. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. The pitch. On the ground, right side. What a stop. Throw to first, and they get the out. Big play there to get the leadoff man. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the second baseman, Jonathan India. One down, base is empty. Left field, Donovan settles underneath it. Puts it away for the out. And now the designated hitter for the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz. Not close with that one. Ball two. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. The Reds down by a run, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. and misses it's a strikeout offense held a check there top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth it's the Cardinals one and the Reds nothing bottom of the sixth inning and the batter now Mason Wynn Kicks and deals. Popped in the air. Left field. Jordan makes the grab one away. Now batter. The right fielder. Alex. And now Alec Burleson. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. And here it comes. Three. Got it by him for the K. Now and up to hit is Wilson Contreras. 
John Claret. Swing and a pop up. Settles under it. Makes the catch. And that is the third out of the inning. One, two, three go to Cardinals. But they lead it one to nothing. Kyle Leahy gets handed the rock out of the pen. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Kyle. Spencer Steer digs in now. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Looking to get the tying run on base. Moving in the bullpen, Andre Palante appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Romero getting cranked up as well. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And now the tying run is into scoring position. He was all over that one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Now it's the right fielder, Nick Martini. So the tying run at second. Yeah. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. One ball, two straight. Man at second. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, boy, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Now the third baseman, Santiago Espinal. Bounced out to short. Win. Throws the first in time. And that is the inning. So one left for Cincinnati. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Fernando Cruz. Well, he's got electric stuff coming out of the pen. His strikeout rate, though, is through the roof so far this season. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. And a 1-1. And he swings through that one. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Well, pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of pitchers didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics. And they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls. But because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play. And they are doing some special things with it. Cruz 
a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Got him looking. Two down. The bat. Here's Nolan Arenado. Arenado. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seventh. And that one at 95 missed up top. And the count two and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Nick Martinez, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Two down, nobody on. That one finds the zone. And the count is two and two. Struck him out looking. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Andre Palante. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Cincinnati making a move for a pinch hitter. Jake Fraley. And he would be the tie and run boot, so we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. And that one fouled off. The healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Inside just missed. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Gorman throws on to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Next for Cincinnati, Levon Soto. Trying to hold a one-run lead, and we're in the top of the eighth. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. One down, base is empty. Headed down the line, and it's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Here's the left fielder, Levi Jordan. Two outs. That ball. misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Two, three, go the Reds. And it remains one nothing. Staying in the game on defense, Jake Fraley. He'll be out center now after pinch hitting. Number 27. Pitching change here, Sam Mole. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Well, one-run game, and here is Nolan Gorman. 
he provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. Fouls one off, two and two. The pitch. And down on strikes. One up, one down. It's a good breaking ball there, just off the corner where you can't really do much damage, but it's close enough to where you've got to protect, and he just couldn't find a way to fight it all. Here's the catcher, Pedro Pajes. Next offering upstairs. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. Nick Martinez preparing to come on if needed. Base is empty one away here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Into center. Fraley pulls that one down, and there's two down. Now batting, center fielder, Michael. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for St. Louis, Michael Ciani. Ball to strike. And a bunt towards third. And that's just foul. The one two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And another ball. Up and three in two. three balls, two strikes. And yeah, there's ball four. Side, ball four. You can stomach a two out walk to certain players, but with his speed, this guy out there in the base pass, it could turn into two or three bases. And now the shortstop, Mason Wynn. pitch he goes down looking so one left for the Cardinals but they're on top one nothing Closer, Giovanni Gallegos. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. So back to the top of the Reds lineup. Jonathan India getting ready to hit. And another ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And fouled off. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. The 1-1. One -one. And a swing and a miss there. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. And a pitch. 
Swung on, popped up left side. He's under it. He's got it. There's two away. So it's their last chance in this one. Spencer Steer, the next to hit for the Reds. Swing and a miss. One strike away. And now the count is even. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Two two down. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Cardinals hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the players standing behind them to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these pitchers did on the mound today.